We're chilling. Imagine waking up to Ed Sheeran in the morning, just like playing outside your window door, like for the rotation. Come on. Come on, Ed. Come on. <laughs> okay, they're setting up the merch right now. They have an um, exclusive stadium there. there. And then they the same too. Okay, it's 3.40 and I'm dying. I am anxious, but are you ready? We are here. Gates. Yay. This is literally the most chaotic moment ever. Like, we're all just... What? Chaos. Chaos. Oh my god, guys, look at this, this is insane! Ah! Anyways, here we are. We're at Barricade. We made it. Uh, and the roof is open today! Yay! And all the friends are here. Let's go. Let's go. Also, we have a nice security guard giving some snacks. Shout out.
Okay, this audience and crowd is insane. Yes, get it, girl. Yes, yes. It's on at 8.15. It's about almost 8 o'clock. Time check. Time check. 7.36. Let's go. We're here. We're here. The stage is here. And you can see underneath is someone. Ed should, like, roll, too. He'll probably roll on this side. So yeah, into there. whatsoever it's all made live on the spot it's controlled with my feet and at the end it's deleted and it will not be the same at the next gig the way that it works is you press record like this then when you press play it plays back then you can add layers on top of it like this adds a layer on top something to do with the song and I just thought the song just wasn't good enough but then the more and more that I played the more people started turning around and paying attention and after a while people started coming to concerts that I was putting on myself and then after a while this song became a hit in the United Kingdom and then it became a hit across Europe and then it became a hit in Australia and New Zealand and Asia and South America and then there was a conversation about coming to the United States and, and Canada and uh, you know, as a landmass, I mean, Canada is huge. It's huge. If you look at the UK, the UK is like this big, Canada's like this big. So if you think you can make a hit single in this place, and then you look at a place that's this big like Canada is, I thought it would be a tall order. And uh, anyway, I came over here uh, with a band called Snow Patrol. I was opening up with Snow Patrol. And uh, I quickly realized that people here like the song too. And then I kept coming back to Canada. I've, I've, I've been lucky enough to do like an extensive tour across Canada, not just Toronto and not just Vancouver, but I've got to visit all of this little... And I'm so like... I just want to say I don't take it for granted. I don't take it for granted. And the reason I'm saying this today is before I came out on stage, I met, I met the people that run the stadium. And they said in the 40 year history of this stadium being built, this is the most people that they've ever had in the building at one time. 
65,000 of you have come to this concert. And the reason I'm saying this before this song is I can still close my eyes and remember playing it to empty rooms in London. And now I get to open my eyes and look at 65,000 Canadians sing the song. Here we go. Listen. together first on East Side and then on uh, on the uh, the number six collaborations project and uh, our, our work on the number six collaboration project is actually the reason why after 18 years of being solo on stage with a loop pedal I decided to bring a band for this tour and the reason is so obviously it's called the mathematics tour it's all the symbols it's all the albums but last time I was on tour in North America I was based out of Nashville, and I, uh, whenever artists came through Nashville, they just came to the house and we like, you know, had drinks and made music, and that music turned into the Number Six Collaboration Project, and it was made out of fun. And then I put it out, and then some of the songs did quite well, but I never uh, wanted to tour it because it's a collaborations album. How do you tour a collaborations album? Um, and so on this tour, I wasn't planning on playing it at all. And then when I was looking at the set list, I was like. It's a shame to leave off this song and this song and this song and this song. Um, so I've known these lads for a while. We we jammed these songs out. I think they sound great. So here is uh, a few of the collaborations.
Mexico. And Toronto is a loud crowd. It's a loud crowd. Thank you and thank you so much. Have a great weekend. All the variations out 29th December. See you in a bit. I'm dead. My legs hurt. This is the end of the mathematics tour. I I have no words. I I'm sore. And now I have to go home. That just happened. I am broken. This girl behind me took a video and during Perfect, I went like this to Ed and I had my hand out and he just like sang the first verse part to me. And I was like, and I did not have my camera out. So now it's just here in my memory and I'm gonna say it here so that I remember and I never forget. But, oh my God, that was insane and I have no words. My legs hurt and I need to stop my Apple Watch. Cool. Okay, it's 10.51. I'm actually glad we saw him yesterday too because then we were able to film some of that show. And then tonight I just like died at the barricade and I was just singing, screaming, having the best time ever. Uh, was, was she was on the other side. Fun. Maddie was on the other side. You. She was at a different gate and they got in onto the floor before us and well, our I entire to gate- I a video of me running down the ramp. Uh, no, our section ever. was only, look at only. Right, we're gonna turn the camera. Holy moly, are we in Seattle? Are we in stadium mode? That's nuts. Wow. But anyways, BC Place is literally one of the most unsafe and like poorly managed like venues. Cause holy crap, when we went in, it was horrible. Like nobody had any organization. People weren't getting wristbands. People's tickets weren't actually even getting scanned. And it was horrible and um, when they opened the gate, everyone ran and pushed and shoved and it was horrible. And then um, obviously there was a person of accessibility in front of everyone who was in a wheelchair and they were like just trampling and it was it was so crazy and I honestly they need to step it up because that was rough.
Um, but I guess this is like this, water. This is they, they, the security was great for the production. In house security was different. I don't know. Like, kind of give context to the security at BC Place. And there's different in house would be the ones that work and manage BC Place. Then the production would be the security guards at like the barricade and stuff. The security guards at the barricade were amazing. They were giving us water. They were giving people snacks or maybe just like little like mints and gum and everything just to kind of keep some sugar going and stay uh, energized because there were a lot of people that were fainting and not getting enough food in their systems, which is a big thing that you need to do when you go to concerts. Like you have to take care of yourself first and foremost, because if you're not filled with sustenance, if you do not have water in you, it will be very hot. You will get lightheaded. And I was lucky enough when we got in, I was able to sit at the barricade and take a quick nap, close my eyes because I was feeling dizzy as well. But the in-house security, was it was very dangerous the way that they had let everybody in to the venue, onto the floor. People were pushing and shoving and I, I there has to be a better way to manage that because anyone, like even if a kid was there in that lineup, they could have been seriously hurt. Luckily, nobody that I knew got seriously hurt. But um, that's what I just was speaking upon and was really worried about when we were leaving the concert. Anyways, um, we're walking to the car and uh, yeah, no, so much fun. I died. I'm so happy. Look at that. Look at, look at, right there. Um, yeah, anyways, we got a photo with Khalid. <laughs> that was fun. I uh, love it, Jiren. That was amazing. A little, my little kitty cat shirt. No, I have my cat shirt. And, uh, yeah, I'm dead. I met so many nice people in line today and I was so happy to see that everyone along was like the barricade and I was like, oh my God, you were with us, you were with us, we were with us. Cause I was so afraid cause because of the trampling, everyone was not like getting in the order that they arrived in. Also, this is my voice, it's kind of gone. So uh, we'll see you next time. Might be Coldplay. I don't know, we shall see. Concert vlogs. Yay! <laughs>